This is Smallsy Surgery. Hey, everybody. Thank you for downloading. Smallsy here. Welcome to the first podcast of 2024 and the first guest. Now, he is an Aussie radio DJ, but he now calls Dubai home. He's become one of the biggest stars of the hit reality show Dubai Bling on Netflix. This is the one where it's just opulence. There's like, if there's a toilet you can put gold on, they've put gold on it. If there's a Maserati or a, or whatever, you know what I'm saying. They're just like, they're super rich. Um, his name is Chris Fade. Let's get him on. Hi, this is Chris Fade. Everyone here is looking for something. Money, power, image, or love. I'm going to pay. I'm going to pay. So how much do we have on the table? $5 million. So exciting. Habibi, welcome to Dubai. Hey, on the show, first guest of the year uh, from Dubai Blink, Chris Fades in the building, everybody. It can only go up from here, Smallsy. Absolutely. Z. I'm a little bit nervous. He does, right? Everyone that would watch the show knows you do radio in Dubai. Yeah. You're like the Ryan Seacrest of Dubai. <laughs> yeah. um, welcome to the show, man. It's so good to be back on, uh, on Aussie radio as well. It's good to be back here. Uh, thanks for having me. No. I, I feel pressure that I'm the first guest. This is scary now. Yeah, well, you know, it's the first day back, right? So I, I haven't got anyone else. You're the, you're the only one in. <laughs> And everyone else is still on holidays. <laughs> they just went all the way to Dubai to get the... Do you want to come in? I was like, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> hey, um, congratulations on the, the new season of Dubai Bling on uh, on Netflix. Thank you. Yeah, I think it got a top five here in, in, in Australia, which is always cool. I think it was top number. Like, first season they came out, I couldn't believe... When we did this show, I, I had mm. no idea. We had no idea what the show was about. Well, I was going about to ask you, for people who haven't seen the show, can you explain it? Because I was going to say, it's a little bit like Real Housewives, but it's not. Uh, it's a a little bit like selling Sunset, but you don't sell anything. It's just rich, opulent people in Dubai having drama with the, each other. That's it. But didn't know that when we signed up for it, which sure. was pretty crazy. Um, we didn't even know the name of the show. We did not know the name of the show until it was all done and dusted. First season was done. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That's not uh, Now, for, okay, well, honestly, about the show, though, uh, Dubai looks like a wild place to live. Beautiful. I've been there. I left Sydney 2007. Okay. I told mum and dad... I'm, I'll be back in uh, a couple of years. Yeah. I said, let me just go try some radio. I was doing radio here, and I thought, let's go try and do some radio out there. Uh, 16 years later, I'm still there. I love it. Uh, you know, Australia's always going to be home, but yeah. there's something about that city, Dubai, and the UAE, which is tremendous. I what what It just looks rich. Is there a... Is there, is there a lot of money there, or is do you just see a lot of flashy people there? No, there's a lot of money. Definitely. Okay, there's a lot of money, but yeah. there's also a, a realness and a community to it as well. Not it's not all about money. Mm. Now on Dubai Bling, you see basically just money. You right? do. <laughs> you see just money. Yeah, um, yeah. But there, there's a there's a realness to it. There's a wholesome part to it. There's a family aspect. There's communities. There's parks. Mm. There's 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 elements of, of of Australia there as well. You know. Yeah. No. Now, how much money do you have? Do you are you like one of the richest on the show, or are you middle of the road, or are you hmm. well, obviously you work in radio, so you're not making money from radio, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I make money from radio. What's going on here? Do you I, want made, my manager? I, I walk to work. I walk to work. I don't make any money. I'm joking. No. Uh, where, where, like, I, how many cars do you have? Just one. No. No. How many cars? Like five. Or five. five. I got six right now. Actually. Six right. Six yeah. cars. Okay. Yep. How many bedrooms are in your house? Because you, are you building one, right? I'm building a new one now, which will have seven. Sure. How um, many toilets? Well, I bought those Japanese electric ones. Oh, and they're I just the bought, best. I bought six of them. Okay. So I've got, I know that I've got six bathrooms. Okay. Um, listen, I, I do all right. Just so everyone knows, at the end of this year, I am moving to Dubai yeah, to host out. my radio show. That come is where... Um, no, no, no. In, well, I tell you, there is an article that says that my net worth is like $1.8 million US. I found that offensive. <laughs> Like, I was really offended. I was like, come yeah. on, guys, are you serious? See, that, you've got to be more than that. Yeah, it's uh, like, but I went there with nothing. I literally went there with, Yeah. Um, I remember I had a farewell party. Every, Mum and dad and the you know, family gave me a bit of cash. I think yeah. I I think I went out there with 10,000 Australian dollars. Yeah. Uh, that's all That's I like had. the limit you can get into a foreign country, right? Yeah, 10, 10, 10, I like Any more, and you're like, why are you staying? And it was crazy, because when I landed there, I had no idea. You had to pay your rent. It's changed now, but you had to pay your year's rent up front. Okay. In one go. There goes the 10 grand. Uh, and then It was some. 30K. It was, I didn't know what to do. Wow. So, um, but the city's beautiful. There's definitely a lot of money. The show, the show itself is, it, it's doing what it needs to do. There's always going to be drama in okay. a reality show. If you took that drama out, I, I, I applaud the cast that provide 
the big drama of the show because yeah. without it, it wouldn't be one of it's the biggest show to ever come out of the Middle East ever. Is it really ever? And it's um, you know when you when you're rating top ten in the states on Netflix, yeah, you know that there's a hit there. Do you, I think people love watching it because literally the 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 eat is so opulent. There is just just everything is dripping in gold. And there's just the ex- it's the opulence and excess that just no, no most people don't have Which that is, you sit there and you just go wow yeah there's a lot of money that's good there's a lot of money and uh, you know it's crazy being here in Sydney just for not as much money here in Sydney right <laughs> oh man I some went, parts some parts some, okay so I, I'll tell you where I went and this is what the show's done which is pretty crazy I'm out at Bankstown Centro Bankstown yep. Shopping Centre yep. I'm getting stopped every five minutes from someone I love the show oh my gosh they ask me all the questions is it real is it scripted yeah. they, you know all that run through and then I'm at Double Bay yesterday the exact same questions really and I love that I love that the show has gone yeah. vast across you know the different demos demographics of, yeah. of, of Sydney or, or Australia and you know being in LA last Last month, the same thing. People coming out on the streets of LA going, oh man, I saw you get married on the show. And it's pretty surreal. Like, you know, people coming up that you've never met congratulating you on your on your baby. But, you know. How, you... Sorry, I was going to say, how was having the, the wedding on the show, by the way? Because you did get married in season one. Yeah. And people like are fully across your business. Was that weird to get sort of used to that people would feel like they probably lived that special day that you had? It was weird. Um, also, you got to control your ego. Because yeah. you've got to make sure that you're not putting on this wedding just to show everyone, look at us and look what we've got. Yeah, okay. And that was a fine line, you know. My wife and I, Brianna, mm. you know, we got into those arguments sometimes where it was more about like, hold on, we're doing this wedding for us. Yeah. And I think we had a discussion about that early on. Like, this is not a wedding that we're trying to create a theatre of oh, oh, Netflix and here we go. Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, it, it was one of the most special moments of my life. I treated it initially like, ah, oh, it's just another event, like a show. Yeah. Like, yeah. let's get it done. But it was, as we crept closer to that day, you know, uh, there I am. I'm not a crier. This is what the crazy thing. Anyone that knows me knows that Chris Faye doesn't get emotional and tear okay, up. Right? Okay. I, don't, I do not tear up. The two times I've teared up in the last probably 20 years are both on the Dubai Bling show. And one is when I'm saying the vows to my wife. Yeah. And the second time was, spoiler alert here, um, you can turn off if you haven't watched season two, but come back in a second, is when Brianna tells me... Um, that we're having a baby. Yeah, right. right. And those two real moments, I am so grateful that I've captured that on this show. Yeah, wow. I love that. I, and you have it for like you have it captured for memories too. Like who else can say that like Netflix filmed their wedding and I'm, like and like I've you know it. and you've got a copy like, of it. Edit it down. Edit it down into like a four minute because no one wants to watch a two hour wedding video. Okay, like we just <laughs> want to see the highlights. Um, by the way, people may or may not know this. You have a wax figure, a Madame Two Swords. Is it to scale? Uh, did you shred for the? What? Tell me that, just how that process works when they take all your measurements. And does do you, does it have a penis? D- does your okay, wax figure have a penis? question. Now, <laughs> I haven't checked. You it. haven't. You need to check. That's the first thing I would have checked. Did they make it to No, well, they don't measure scale. that. So <laughs> my manager got an email from the Madame de Swords guy saying Chris Fade will be immortalised. He's been selected. Da, yeah. da, 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 da. I said... BS. Are you yeah. Serious? I thought this was my co-host on the radio stitching you up, stitching me up, right? Yeah. And uh, then it became real. I had to fly to London, and the, the way they do it is remarkable, man. They yeah. they take about honestly, I think about five and a half thousand photos of you. you. It's crazy. And I had four weeks' notice. So yes, as soon as I found out that I was doing this, yeah. I tried to shred because I'm like, oh my gosh, God. yeah, this is the one time I've got to make sure that I'm at the leanest possible. So yeah. I went on like yeah, calorie deficit. De- Deficit, deficit diet. Yeah, yeah. I was training hard. I felt like I wasn't where I wanted to be when they did it, but, but I was happy with what sure, happened. Yeah. Uh, you sit in your underwear. Okay. All right. You've got about seven or eight people around you. They are measuring every single part of your body except the size of your boing boing. Yeah. Um, but it's pretty uh it's pretty weird. Like they come out with colours of gums. And they'll hold you. Oh, and they match it to your yep. gums they, to make sure you look right. And there's a whole there's a whole chart color of gums, eyeballs. They brought out about twenty five different types of eyes, Insane. and they match it all up. Um, crazy thing was, which I, I don't mind saying, is that I got th- these teeth that yeah. I've got are veneers. Okay, right. So when I got when I got matched for it all, yeah. they weren't veneers, right? And it took them a year to build this thing. It cost them about two hundred fifty thousand US dollars to make this thing to do the thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, 
And so <laughs> I remember we had to message him and be like, Hey, hey my uh, teeth have changed. Chris's, yeah, Chris's teeth have changed. Yeah. But they're veneers, so here they are. We've sent them in a pocket post box to you. They just no. said, just give us a new mold of it and we'll get them done. That's crazy. T- I've got tats all over me. They yeah. did the tattoos better than the tattoo artists. That's, I love that. It's pretty crazy. That's so, great. yeah, that's a, that's a bit of a moment that I'm Digger. like, man, pretty but crazy. Now, when you get back to Dubai, uh, you need to go check out uh, if, if your ding-dong is there underneath the... Oh, uh, first the, thing the, I'll the first do thing you'll be doing is Matter of Two Swords. Did they measure me what it's down there? <laughs> uh, season two is out on Netflix. Now, Chris, mm. good to see you, mate. Thanks for dropping by. Pleasure, Smallsy. Proud of you what you're doing as well. Oh, you're, a, you're king, and I'm going to come over, and I'm going to take the show to Dubai. Let's go. And I'll work out of your station, and I'm just going to I'm going to do what all those fitness influencers do. Fuck, there's a lot of fit- <laughs> fitness influencers in Dubai these days, aren't they? They're the all number, moving there. The, it's the num- Honestly, they did a study. The number one fitness influencers are in, in Dubai. Dubai. And the biggest hashtag on TikTok yes. is... Dubai. There you go. Love it. Dude, thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Smallsy Surgery Dubai coming soon. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.